Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we're going to be checking out 2D bone animation software packages. Now, 2D bone animation, or bone animation in general, used to be confined to the world of three dimensions. And for pretty good reason. You have to deform the underlying mesh or model in some way to make this work. So the way this works generally in the world of 2D is you cut it up into individual pieces. And I'm going to show you straight out what this looks like. Today we're looking at Spine. And Spine is pretty much the granddaddy in this particular area. It sort of started the revolution. And this is actually, each time I mouse over a guy right here, this is a separate image. And you can see all of the different bones that are controlling the animation of this image. So you draw your guy in a traditional manner, cut it up into individual pieces, put them back together, and then you can set up a number of different bones to control the animation, like this. So at the very, very simplest level, you're using a sequence of bones to animate an underlying 2D image. And this is becoming more and more popular. In fact, we are going to be looking at close to a dozen different applications that have bone-based support today. And now some of them get into a whole lot more detail. For example, Spine also can do freeform mesh deformations and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you can also bring in effectors such as physics or waves and that kind of stuff. But we're just basically going to focus on all of the packages out there that have bone animation support. And we're not going to go into a whole lot of depth. This is more of an introduce you to the options that are out there and you can explore it yourself. Although I have visited a number of these packages in some depth in the past. So if you're looking, eh, looking to learn more, Generally, I have more information about a number of these on the channel. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We will go with the first one, and we already looked at it. It's Spine. As I mentioned, Spine is pretty much the the beginning of this kind of trend. As far as I know, this is the first real commercial commercial bone-based animation package. I could be completely wrong on that, but it is definitely one of the earliest, and especially for game developers. What really makes Spine shine is there are a number of runtimes for just about every single game engine you could want to find. Now, it is commercial. Uh, it is a commercial product. It will cost you uh, sixty-nine dollars for essential, or three hundred dollars for professional, or twenty-two hundred dollars for enterprise, which is required if you make more than half a million dollars a year. Next up on the list, we have uh, Spriter by Brash Monkey. Spriter three is in the works. Uh, Spriter came along right around the same time as Spine and works a whole lot like Spine. Uh, now, which one you like versus the other one is really a matter of taste and choice. And Spriter is. Similar in that it also has a number of game engine specific runtimes. Uh, in terms of purchasing it, uh, that was very strange, it is $60 for Spriter Pro. So about the same as the Essential from uh, Spine. Next up, we have Creature. Now, Creature is another one in the same sort of vein. It's amazing. These first four are very similar. Uh, one day I should actually do a rundown to compare them. Now, for reference, I have done a video on Spine. I've done a video on Creature. I've been meaning to do one on Spriter, but there's a new version just on the horizon, so I've just been waiting for it to come out. Uh, Creature is in the same vein once again. This is also also commercial software and buying it gets a little confusing because it's available from two different sources but as you can see it's $99 or $200 or if you need an enterprise license you have to buy it from deep motion next up we have dragon bones now dragon bones is actually free and it is very similar to the first three packages it's got game related runtimes as well um, now, there are a couple of people that are a little cautious about Dragon Bones. Apparently, the software dials home to China. Uh, I don't know if this is just standard normal analytics or if there's something more to it. I've used it a number of times and not experienced anything in the past. Uh, but do be aware, there, there are some uh, concerns there from some people. So I just wanted to mention that before we moved on. Uh, again, Dragon Bones is actually free, and it is very similar in functionality to Spine, Spriter, and Creature in what it tries to accomplish. Next up, we have Synfig Studio. Now, Synfig is a completely open source 2D animation package. I have done a video on it. Uh, coincidentally, I did a video on the last piece as well. Um, Synfig Studio is more about, it's, a, it's an all-in-one animation package. The bone support is there. It's more primitive probably than the rest of what we've seen. But this is also a 100% free commercial open source, and it is also a drawing package on top. So if you're looking for a full bore animation studio, Synfig might be right for you. Now, from a game developer's perspective, there are no runs times at all. This is not focused on game development that way, so just do be aware of that fact. Now next up we have the probably least interesting landing page, and I've actually done a video on this, so if you want to learn more, uh, it's COA tools or cut out animation tools. This is a plugin for Blender. Um, and a Godot add-on that enables you to create uh, cutout animations directly inside of Blender. So you're using Blender as your authoring environment for doing your 2D animations. Uh, I have done a video on that, so if you want to learn more, do check out that video. I'll throw links to all my videos down below. Um, 
it's under active development, so you see it was updated 24 days ago in this particular example. Uh, again, free and open source. Next up, we have OpenTunes. Now, OpenTunes is one of those ones that I've actually been meaning to cover for the channel for quite a while. Tunes used to be a completely commercial package and quite expensive, actually. Uh, it's used, uh, in, I think, somewhat developed in-house by Studio Ghibli. Uh, probably saying that not wrong, but uh, Princess Monaco... Uh, no, Monoko. I don't know. I'm pronouncing all kinds of things wrong here. But this is a uh, full-blown animation package for animators. This is not aimed at game development. This is all aimed entirely at um, commercial animation people, like traditional 2D style animation. But it does have bone support. I believe they're called plastic in this case and not technically bones, but uh, same ultimate uh, end result. Now, I might be mixing Open Tunes and Toon Boom up on the naming there, but there is ultimately bone support. It just may not be referred to as bones. Now, I personally don't actually have a lot of hands on time with this guy, but it is open source and now free, and I do intend to check it out. Let me know if you're interested in learning more about Open Tunes. Now, do keep in mind, unlike the first four or five that we covered here, this one is not targeted at game dev specifically, so you're going to be ultimately exporting just as a standard image, so you're going to lose any of the additional runtime type functionality you might have gotten from some of the earlier 2D animation packages. All right, next up, we have uh, Adobe Animate CC. A new version of this was just released the other day. Uh, this is the uh, successor to Flash. So once upon a time, there was Flash, not Flash the runtime, but Flash the studio, uh, a vector graphics animation package. It has evolved over time. It is now called Animate CC. It does have some game-related functionality. The most recent version just got um, GLTF. Uh, export functionality, and it's got some functionality for um, implementing sprite sheets, etc. There are no runtimes for various different game engines, but this is definitely used to make quite a few commercial 2D animated games. And this tool set has been evolving over time, over a period of 10, 15 years now. Uh, Flash goes back. Flash used to be called something else before Flash. It's been rebranded a couple of times now, but this guy has been in development for close to two decades. So there is a lot of functionality in there. Uh, it just got uh, lip syncing, for example, but again, no no run types. So you're basically doing all of your authoring inside of Animate, and then you you have to kind of deal with it just as straight out sprites from that point on. Now, next up, we've got Toon Boom. Now, Toon Boom is a commercial product, Toon Boom Harmony. Uh, this is another professional animation package. This is aimed more at traditional animation style, but there are bone support here as well. So like I said earlier, it's either Open Tunes or Toon Boom. Sorry, I'm mixing them up in my mind, but one of them calls their bones plastic. The other one is just called bones. Uh, either way, they both support uh, bone animations in their and cutout animation in their uh, workflow pipeline. There's also export to game engine. Uh, um, compatible with game engines like Unity. So this is targeted a bit more towards game development than full-on animation, but this is definitely from the 2D animation side of things. It's another package I have very, very, very little experience with, and it's also um, not cheap. So Harmony is bought on a monthly basis for 100 bucks a month. So you're looking at $1,200 a year, which is a big part of why I don't really have a lot of you know background with this guy. This is more used in a traditional 2D animation pipeline, and that is not really a world I am involved with. But they are definitely uh, catering more and more towards game developers with each subsequent release. But again, $1,200 a year it is a little painful. Uh, that is Canadian, though. So it's probably about $80 a month for Americans. All right, next up we have Moho. Now, Moho Pro used to be called Anime Studio. Um, this is from Smith Micro. Um, it's a full-blown anime-oriented package, but you see you've got deformations like Bezier Handles, Smart Wrap, and you, of course, do have bones to cut out animation in this guy as well. Anime multiple layers at the same time, pin bones. So this guy has all of the functionality we basically talked about in the past. Again, this is more towards animation, but you do have FBX support for Unity game developers. So all of these packages are kind of realizing that their biggest audience is probably in game development these days. Now, this is also a commercial project. It is how much? How much? Where did you go? Moho Pro. Oh, right there, 400 bucks. So by no means is Moho Studio one of the cheapest options on this list. But if you're into the anime art style, this is very much focused towards anime development. But it has all of the 2D animation tools you would expect from most of these packages. 
Now, next up, we have something that is kind of unique. This is Marionette Studio. This is online and web-based. You can do online 2D animation. You can basically export your stuff and animate within their website. And you see here, you've got natural deformations, animation curves, automatic weight calculations, weight painting, uh, auto meshing, so that it basically creates the stuff for you based off the image you uploaded, uh, web player, um, and you've got game, en game engine integration in the form of Cocos 2D, Pixie, Starling, Sparrow, Easel, JS, Kiwi, uh, which are mostly JavaScript libraries that you see there. Uh, so this is kind of a, an online web-based service. I've actually got no experience with it. It's one of those things I do intend to check out with their free trial. So I'll get back to you with a video of how this experience works. Uh, but as you can see, it is priced on a monthly basis and you go from a starter package at seven bucks, pro for 23, and business for, if you've got to ask, it's probably too expensive. And you can see you have obvious limitations such as a limitation of five scenes in that particular case. Um, Again, I don't have a lot of experience with Marionette, so it, it it's one of those things. I'm going to try it out and get back to you. If you have some experience with it, let me know comments down below. All right, next up, we have, yeah, we're getting a little weird here, but we're going straight into game engines themselves. There's actually cutout animation tools and IK bone-based animation tools coming to Unity. Now, this is one of those areas where I actually kind of glossed over because there are about four or five different popular plugins in the Unity App Store for providing bone animation, but I'm not really including any of them because more and more uh, Unity is basically usurping all of that ability and putting it directly into the product itself. And that's what's happened. It's an experimental package right now, but the new 2D animation package that is currently an experimental version with 2018.1, sorry, in preview version, does give you the ability to do cutout animation using skeletons directly inside the Unity game engine. I've not actually played with the tools yet. They look a lot less polished than what I've seen from the likes of uh, Spine and Spriter and Creature and so on, uh, but they're completely free and they're directly inside of Unity itself. So um, it, it'll be interesting to see if this takes off as a, you know, if it's a viable replacement for the commercial options, because almost all of the current game engine focused 2D animation packages have some form of Unity runtime. So they're kind of stomping on their own creators here, but uh, it's early on. Be interesting to see how well this one develops. And then one final game engine to mention is Godot. Godot actually has cutout animations built into it. I don't know if I've done a tutorial on this yet, um, but it's definitely on my to-do list. Um, the setup is a little bit more tricky than what you've seen with a lot of these, but you can basically create uh, bone-based hierarchies and animate accordingly. Let's get to the bottom and you can see the end result. And let's go. So you're creating a skeleton to control the various different pieces. You've got full IK control. I don't know if you have weight painting though, which is probably a pretty big deal if you want to do like non-uniform translations but do be aware that cutout animation is built directly into Godot and on top of that a number of the packages we dealt with earlier like COA tools I believe uh, Spine for uh, sorry um, Spriter and Spine for sure have uh, Godot runtimes so it is a very well supported engine for this functionality in general but there's actually tools directly inside for setting these hierarchies up yourself now I do find the workflow is a little bit trickier um, than almost any of the other packages to be honest but if you want to work entirely in Godot that is your option all right, so that is it. That is the list, at least as I know it. Again, I don't really do a whole lot of 2D animation, so I might be missing out on some other packages that are relevant. If so, please do let me know in the comments down below. And now what I will do is I will go through all of the ones that I've covered in some form. So I know I've covered, for example, COA tools, Spine, uh, Creature, uh, Dragon Bones, and, and a few others. I know I've already done videos on a number of these. If I have done a video, I will toss it in the link down below. If there is a product on this list, that you want to learn more about that I have not covered, please do let me know in the comments down below as well. And if you have an opinion on any of these packages, please do share it. And once again, if I have missed anything, I want to be as comprehensive as possible. So if there's something that should have been on this list but wasn't, also do let me know that down below. Hopefully this was useful to at least one of you. Uh, and that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.